Hi you guys! So I just co-washed my hair and this is it completely shrunk up. Um, I co-washed it with the VO5 Herbal Essences Strengthening Conditioner, pomegranate, and then I sealed in that moisture with tea tree oil. So here's the braid pattern that I used for this sew-in. I did a perimeter braid in the front. I parted on the left side of my head and did the perimeter braid around the back and then ended it right before the part that I began it with. I did straight back braids from that part and then I sewed the tail of the braids from the straight backs in between the perimeter braid and the straight backs so there was no lump in the back, creating a really flat foundation for the sew-in. <laughs> Perm Yaki Extra Tangle Free, item color one. Hi you guys, so I started sewing in the front where my part begins and I sewed on my right side past my ear and to the back and to the other side of the nape of my neck. I sew up underneath the braid and the weft of the track and back out and I just sewed horizontally in a zigzag pattern until I got done with the first pack. Here is when I'm done with the first pack of the color one hair and I was trying to figure out where I was going to go with the one B and I decided that I was going to do another zigzag of two horizontal rows and then I was going to take the 1B in a circle around my head after the last two horizontal rows. Here's the halfway mark. Hi you guys. I'm at the halfway point. I cut right here so that I can start doing the circle. And this is where I'm at and I'm going to start circling around I think. Maybe. Um. I don't know. So here's the closure. I cut a pretty long piece of track and I okay, used that so for the closure. the closure. I used bonding glue to roll everything up and because my bonding glue nozzle is clogged I have to use an object to paint it on there and this time I used my scissors. But I just paint the glue onto the weft and then I roll it all up and then after I roll everything up nice and tight. I paint some more glue onto the back of the closure. And then I flatten it out and put the flat iron on it to flatten it out really, really good. And then I just stick it on top of my head. So I place it where I want it to go and I sew my closures on. The glue has dried by the time I'm doing this part so no glue is actually drying on my hair. I just use that to keep the closure together. And I sew underneath the braid and then up underneath the closure and then out and then underneath the braid going around in a circle so that I can sew the closure on pretty tightly until I get back to where I began. So yeah, never sew over the closure because then you'll see the thread on top of the closure and you don't want to see that. You want to sew underneath the closure. So then I just brush everything in place and cut and curl. So here is the cut and curl process. So the first thing I did was separate the hair that I was going to use for my bangs and cut pretty low to start with so that I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know. And then I cut millimeter by millimeter, creating a huge mess in my bathroom until my bangs were at a length right above my eyelids. That's where I like it. And I curled as I was cutting so that I could see where it would fall curled a little bit. Not just like blunt straight because it kind of falls differently. And then when I took that out, I cut some layers to frame my face around the sides right after the bang. And curled those. I curl right after I cut just to see how everything falls. And I cut a little bit more layers going out, further out. And did the other side kind of... Yeah, half bootily because I cannot cut on my lip whatsoever. And this was the next day. I cut a little bit more because I wasn't done. 
and I went to sleep last night tired, so I finished the next day. And I ended up curling all the ends of my hair just to give everything a cute little bump. Because those blunt, not blunt, but like the split end look just wasn't really cute. And I curled some more. So here's the hair that I have left over after the whole process. It was a lot actually if I ever needed it for anything. And this is how long it was. It went from like the top of my head to past like my butt. So it was a lot of hair left over after. So this is my finished look you guys. Um, a full sew in with a bang and a self made closure. This is the front, this is the back, it's a boom! As long as you la 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 Am I gonna put that in there? As long as you la la That is... Really, bro? You gonna take my hair back? Are there no plastic bags down there? And I'm acting like I'm done with my hair and just no, I'm not. Beautiful! It looks beautiful. Say hello to our subscribers, all oh, sixteen of them. We love you. You make me feel like I'm being listened to because my parents don't listen to me. <laughs> this long I wouldn't look right just saying I don't think I'm gonna do that I just I don't look right sorry my edge is too tight something just don't feel right my edge is too tight something just ain't right hey how that sound you want me to stop it? You can. Sorry, you can.